was the year 2014 and I was still in college wondering where I would be heading after graduation. I was obsessed with the digital space and what was being achieved by individuals internationally. I wondered, is there a possibility for India to have its own range of creators that push the envelope and make a name for themselves on a global scale? I witnessed a show by the name of Permanent Roommates and was hooked from the onset. Not because it was path-breaking in any way, but because it was current. It spoke to a generation that grew up with the internet. It seemed familiar. And where we only depended on TV and films for our source of entertainment, there was finally another avenue that was separate from the gatekeepers that choose what is acceptable and what is not. The following year, a show about four friends thinking about launching a startup company titled TVF Pictures became the rage. And India has been hooked ever since. The Viral Fever and its sister companies, especially today, stand out for several reasons. But I genuinely feel that it has captured a loyal and extensive fan base primarily because it has creators that have lived ordinary lives like you and me. When a bunch of graduates from IIT form a company to tell stories, individuals that want to work as professionals in a society that demands excellence and is constantly comparative with its peers, inadvertently they have a sense of the pulse of India. One of the major reasons why TVF and its stories are often referenced or compared to be today's generation's Amol Palikar stories is because there is a sense of connection that audiences feel with the fictional characters that are portrayed by TVF products. This ranges from relationships, education, societal commentary, or even family values. The audience of TVF is not restricted to a particular demographic. It has the ability to connect with students through a story like Kota Factory, as well as transport an older audience and make them reminisce about family interactions through a show like Good Luck. This is a quality and range that very few production houses possess. So when I get to know that TVF after Gulak Season 2 and Panchayat is going to release a show for free on YouTube on the struggle of individuals to crack the UPSC exam, I was thoroughly excited. I saw reviews pouring in about the show the moment the first two episodes had been launched. It made me wonder how do people have an analysis of this show while the characters and the world are still being explored. You have to realize that the capitalist within me gets a sense of anxiety when I can't put out my word in the digital space sooner and somehow everyone was talking about the show but I wondered, shouldn't we be patient for at least some more episodes to come out so that at least we feel invested in this world and its characters? I acknowledge now that everyone has their own way of working and binge-watched the four episodes of the series TVF Aspirants. And I'm sorry but I couldn't resist talking about it after the fourth episode, two days before the finale comes out on Saturday, because of how deeply it impacted me and made me emotional. TVF Aspirants follows the life of Abhilash, played by Naveen Kasturia, an individual giving his final attempt for the UPSC exam as he lives as a paid guest in Old Rajinder Nagar in Delhi, a locality famous for civil services aspirants and coaching institutes. His two close friends from college, Guri and SK, form the tripod, and the series explores as a flashback several transformational and impactful moments that come in the lives of these three characters as they prepare for the UPSC exams, while doing a back and forth with their current predicament as working professionals. There's a reason why this show hits it out of the park. There's a reason why people like me are sharing moments from it on Instagram. There's a reason why the dialogues from this show are being quoted on several social media platforms. TVF has the ability to really sink into the teeth of what every middle class individual in this country wants to achieve, while keeping in mind several realities that may hold them back. When you have experienced what your characters go through yourself, the beauty in the writing comes out effortlessly and impacts the viewers. Every IAS aspirant knows the sacrifices that one has to make in order to achieve excellence for your own self-worth, but more importantly to make your parents proud. One of the most competitive exams of the country that had close to 8 lakh preliminary applications in 2019 and ended up with less than a thousand getting selected. This is an event for which all eggs are put in one basket. A year goes by praying for the chance to get selected. If not, then another year of possibly wondering whether magic will take place the next time. The beauty of a show like TVF Aspirants is that it actually integrates instances of real life in its story. Anecdotes of a UPSC rank holder or an interaction of an IAS officer with the general public adds authenticity to the show. Something that tells you about the attention to detail of the creators. I won't lie that you may get annoyed of the unacademy sponsored dialogues which sometimes seem as mad manufactured as YouTube sponsored videos and I also won't deny that there is a consistent use of the same background score to heighten the emotional quotient of the show. But what is great about Aspirants is that the core and the heart of the storyline still remain intact. What's beautiful about a show like TVF Aspirants is that it has such dependable actors to tell this story. 
Naveen Kasturia, probably TVF's regular leading man, really captures the essence of Abhilash brilliantly. A pessimist in his truest sense, Abhilash, despite being stubborn, learns to adapt for better results. His pragmatic approach, his inability to accept mediocrity, and his evolution over the course of four episodes is something that many aspirational young men will connect with. The need for one to get directed in a path is beautifully communicated through the interactions that he has with his friends, in the form of Guri, played by Shivankit Parihar, and SK, played by Abhilash Thaplial. Shivankit lends a very realistic approach to a friend that all of you may have in your group. A man who is restrictive in his ways, is extremely empathetic from within, but keeps a hard exterior to seem unaffected. Abhilash Thaplial, on the other hand, plays a mediator between the constantly at loggerheads friends. A simple man who wants a sense of peace, who stays in his lane, who does as the rule book instructs, and has a heart of gold. Namita Dube as Dhere also provides a sensitive and realistic approach to a character that has a considerable impact in Abhilash's life. But, my friends, if India will connect with one character, truly someone that they will resonate with, it is Sandeep Bhaiya played by Sunny Hinduja. You know, most of our movies sell us a dream. The dream varies from having a happily ever after, with a romantic interest, or our hero bashing up goons and saving the day. These fictional tales take us away from the dread that exists in our lives. So for a moment, we get to run away from it. And the stories we are mostly told are about winners. But what about the people that are still seeking for their purpose in life? Who are still working towards their goals? Who are met with failures constantly and feel alone in their lives? This is the embodiment of many struggling individuals in this country. And Sandeep Bhaiya is someone who perfectly communicates the stories of millions. The goal of the majority of Indians is to change the financial fate of their families without being perceived as a burden. Sunny lends such sincerity in his portrayal of this man, despite being a supporting character of the show. He is the individual that will make you uncontrollably weep and steal your heart. As many people are saying, and this may sound cheesy, but it's true. Abhilash is a story, but Sandeep Bhaiya is an emotion. As I saw the character standing in the rain alone, as Nilotpal Boda's Dhaga played in the background, I couldn't help but get goosebumps and cry uncontrollably. There is a beauty to the dialogues of this show written by Dipesh Sumitra Jagdish, Arunab Kumar and Shreyansh Pandey. When you can make an analogy of Tom and Jerry and not come across as generic but actually thought-provoking, you know the creators and their connection to the masses is unbreakable. The finale of TVF Aspirants goes live on Saturday. If you were living under a rock and have not seen the show already, I would highly recommend you binge watch the four episodes. And for all of you that are waiting for it to come out on Saturday, I would just say that I don't care about how it ends. But the journey till here has been heartfelt and truly worth it. TBF truly knows the pulse of this nation. And that was the video guys. Write down in the comments below what you thought about the series till now. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. Follow me at jammypants4. Also, please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.